Hi everyone, Ryan here with hollypower.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a business Facebook page for your beauty business. And it all starts in the top right hand corner on the drop down arrow and you click create page. Okay, now you're gonna be offered um, some alternatives here. However, don't panic, it should be pretty obvious which category you fall into. However, broadly speaking, whichever one you choose, it will create uh, broadly the same type of Facebook business page for you. The only difference is, are certain features only apply to certain categories. So for example, you will almost certainly be a local business or a place. And that's probably the one that you want anyway, because if you select that one, then you have Facebook reviews automatically booked in, which you will want. And also you will have on there, uh, people will be able to check in to your business, which you definitely want, um, because then that's gonna show up in the news feeds of your clients' friends and that is partly how you can grow your page. Now, if you're mobile, don't worry, you can still be a local business or place and you can remove your address. That would just mean that you won't show up in certain searches and it mean that people cannot check in. So let's go right ahead and click a local business or place. This is so simple. Um, we're gonna call it Ryan's Beauty Salon, okay? Put obviously your own name in there. You've got to give a category at this point. Now, if I put beauty in, it's gonna give you a few options you'll see health slash beauty, beauty cosmetic personal care, beauty salon, beauty service, hair salon, barbers, choose whichever is suitable for you. You've got to put a, um, you've got to put an address in there, as I mentioned, which is fine, which I will do. And you've also got to put a phone number in there too. Uh, which I'll just put a fake one in for now. And that's it. And now the Facebook wizard will uh, basically make a page with these details pre-populated. It'll take a moment to do that. So while it's doing it, I just want to explain to you why you should set up a dedicated Facebook business page, assuming you are a business, okay? Um, oh, and here we go, it's as quick as that. Uh, the main reason why is because Facebook want you to, and if you don't, and you've got a personal profile which you're using as a business page, you can look forward to Facebook shutting you down at some point, okay? And it really is as, as, as serious as that. They won't give you any warning. They will just close your page. You will lose all of the friends you've got on there, all of the contacts. You will just vanish from Facebook overnight, and you do not want that, okay? Facebook want you to have a business page, they make the rules, you need to play by them, okay? So, but there's other reasons why you would want to anyway. Firstly, it's gonna give you much more credibility and make you look much more professional. You want to have credibility and look professional in the eyes of your clients, and this will help you do that. Also, in addition to that, if you've got hopes and dreams of actually building your page, at some point you're gonna to want to advertise, and again, it's made a whole lot easier with a proper business page. So let's assume you're happy to do that. Now, the first thing we're gonna do, here's our page, look at this, welcome to your new page, yay. Uh, they actually make it quite helpful for you these days and they give you some page tips so you can add the bits in, but I'm gonna run through the basic bits anyway. You'll recognize this format uh, as a Facebook business page. You'll see the reviews are automatically on there as I mentioned earlier. Um, first thing we wanna do are add some pictures. We're gonna have a profile picture and a cover picture, just the same as a personal profile, okay? So let's add a picture. Now, the picture needs to be 170 pixels by 170 pixels, okay? Uh, there it is. And I've actually made this cover art, it took me about eight seconds, as you can see. Um, and I use canva.com to make that, that's C-A-N-V-A.com, canva.com to make that. It's a free program where you can do cool little design pieces. Generally speaking, I recommend either a picture of yourself or a picture of your company logo. Either way, something which is gonna be easily recognizable. You're also going to want a cover photo. Again, I've got one which I'm going to upload from earlier. This needs to be 812 pixels by 312 pixels. 
just like that. And again, I've made that in Canva. As you can see, it didn't take me very long. Um, your cover photo uh, might be your premises, maybe your team, um, you know, people looking happy and smiley and something which is going to encourage people to find out more. Avoid cover stock images where possible because people can smell them a mile away and it looks like you're covering something up. So you're better off using your own imagery, your own pictures, even if they're not great quality pictures. Most smartphones nowadays take a good enough picture, okay? So all we need to do now is fill in some of the information. So if we go to our about, it will give us the opportunity to fill the bits and pieces in. You can see we've got the get directions here because we've put our address in. It's also got a nice little map here. Now, one of the first things you'll want to do is create your username page. You will notice at the moment, this page is called www.facebook.com slash pg slash Ryan's dash beauty dash salon three blah, blah, blah. That isn't very good. That's going to look rubbish on a business card. It's not exactly very snappy. Thankfully, for free, they let you just <clears throat> add another one now. So I'm going to put uh, Ryan's Beauty Salon Bournemouth as my username. Yep, no one's taken it, so I can use it. Great. And create it. The page isn't... Oh, okay. Now, it's, it's going to suggest actually that I'm not able to do that yet by the looks of things because I don't have 25 likes. <laughs> so as soon as I do, then I will be able to change that. And again, that's one of the first things that you will probably want to do yourself. So now you want to fill in all these details here, your business details, your price range, whether or not parking is available, when you started or when you formed the company or when you launched it, when you created it, whichever wording you prefer. You'll want to add your email address in there. People are going to get hold of you. And some people don't like using Messenger. They want to send you an actual email, okay? Likewise, get your website in there. It will be clickable, so they have to click straight through to your website. And then you can also add in here your Insta, your Twitter, your Snapchat, your YouTube, literally everything, your Spotify, Tumblr, LinkedIn. I would fill in every single one of those if I were you. And then uh, we actually want to do the about section as well. Now you'll notice this is a short summary. You notice here it says the limit is 255 characters. So you'll want to use as much of that as possible. Make it short, snappy, concise and to the point. Make sure people know who you are and what you do and give them a reason why they should come and see you. And then everything else goes in this one, edit story. Now this is basically a long form version of the previous box, but you'll notice there is no restriction on the, on the number of characters. Therefore, you should put in there as much information as you can fit. So an extended version of exactly who you are and what you are about. In addition to that, there's a little tip that I like to do. Copy and paste every single testimonial or review you've ever received and put them in the bottom of the box. This is searched and indexed by Google. That means that Google will take all of that information. They will associate all those good things people are saying with you, okay? And you'll also find that would excellently be a lot of keywords naturally sprinkled through there because people will probably have said things like, oh, Sarah gave me the best ever uh, shoulder and neck massage or what have you okay so that's a little a little ninja tip for you as well so you can fill out all of that information there and then what you'll want to do is you'll then want to get some people there so you'll see it helpfully says any friends who might like your page I would invite every single one of these uh, of my friends to like the page that will then not only give you the 25 that you like so you can rename the page something a little bit more uh, pleasing on the eye, but also um, give you a bit of credibility when other people find you, okay? Um, people have got less confidence and faith in a page which has got 12 likes than they have one that's got 500 likes, okay? So that's a good way to do it. Get some of your friends over. You're going to want more targeted people moving forward, but of course, that will give you the absolute basics, okay? Uh, that, in, in a nutshell, is uh, the basics of how to set up a business page. So now you know how to set up your business page for your beauty business. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I've been Ryan. Thanks for watching.